Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in. As you can see, I am performing a back facial on this client. And the first step is cleansing. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what is a back facial? And if you don't know, it's the same as a facial, just on the back. The next step in my process today, um, I'll be using the microdermabrasion machine. Most people are familiar with microdermabrasion on their face, but it can also be applied to the body as well. In the clinic at school, we use the diamond tip microdermabrasion machine, and it works really well with exfoliation and deep cleaning of the skin. And I really wish I could have gotten a better view of me actually applying the products and show you um, the process of the microdermabrasion machine. But in school, we're not even supposed to have our cell phones in the clinic. So this is like a little sneaky link. Um, my client was okay with me filming her. So we're good there. But luckily, I didn't get caught with my camera out in the clinic. <laughs> Now, after two passes of the microderm, um, I am applying a toner. We tone to get up any remaining dirt and debris left behind on the skin and also to restore the pH balance. Give it that good hydration that it needs. Now it's massage time. This is the part that clients really enjoy. Um, I just use the massage gel and I'm working it into the skin, applying a nice a bit of pressure to relieve tension and get that blood circulating. Now, after a great eight to 10 minute massage, I take a hot towel to remove the product from the skin. Now I am applying the mask. Any mask you use should be hydrating to the skin while also removing any excess oils. And they're really good for overall improvement of the skin's impurities. Now to activate this mask, I've applied saran wrap and two hot towels. I'll also be grabbing um, a sheet to protect my client before we move into the heated lamp portion of the back facial.
Now I'll be leaving her under this heated lamp for about 10 minutes. And this heated lamp helps activate the mask as well as it's very, very, very relaxing to the client. If they haven't already fallen asleep by now, they will most certainly fall asleep during this part of the back facial. Now, after I have completely removed the mask, I go into toning the skin again. Yes, again. Um, if anybody follows my girl, LA Beautyologist on Twitter, she's an esthetician in LA and she emphasizes toning the skin multiple times during the facial process. After moisturizing the skin, I add body oil. If you don't know, oil is a sealant. It will lock in the moisture so it stays on the skin longer. And that wraps up the back facial. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.